Hey everybody, Carla here on day 24 of the Juice Fast. We are coming up to the 30 day milestone. Big, big deal for me. Um, and I have not had the severe detox symptoms that I had on my last fast. I don't exactly know why that is. It's, it's, it could be because I just went through a long fast and then also a little bit earlier this year went through um, a raw food detox and it's possible that I went through a lot of the detox in my body at that time. Now, the detox, the detox symptoms, as I have talked about in other videos, it's not just at the beginning that this happens. So at 30 days, if I haven't experienced the massive detox that I went through before, the headaches and the skin breakouts and the coated tongue and all that, it don't mean it's not coming. So I'm, I'm completely prepared for it and know that as your body releases toxins, as it releases the toxins in the fat and all through the bloodstream of your system, I mean, you're gonna go through those detox symptoms. So I'm more than prepared to go through them and shoot them on video. <laughs> it's a little scary, but that's, but that's all good. I do today, though, wanna talk about the movie Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead and its critics. Um, specifically, I was blogging yesterday, I was putting out my video post and then did some kind of tag surfing on WordPress to see what else, what other people were talking about when it came to fasting and raw food. And I came across this woman's blog who said that she is a registered dietitian, she had watched the movie and then she thought the movie was unrealistic for two main reasons, well, three main reasons. First, she said that it is unrealistic for any American, this is what she said, unrealistic for any American to fast in today's society. Number two, she compared fasting to fatty diets, F-A-D-D-Y. She said that fasting was fatty, it was like the Kardashians of the diet world. Number three, she said, eventually you will have to eat again. So the weight loss that you experience while you're fasting will inevitably come back because you have to eat. She said she was a registered dietitian. Now I thought that become in order to become a registered dietitian, you actually had to go through some training to understand that the food process. I thought that that was the case and I don't want to, you know, poo poo on this woman's training or what have you. But what she said is absolutely ridiculous. First of all, to her first point that Americans can't fast. People have been fasting since before Christ. People have been fasting through all regions of the earth all religions, all countries, all times. Fasting is something that is a, uh, it's history. She's crazy. And I think that what she meant to say in her ridiculousness was that because we are such a food-based society, which we are, we are such a food-based society that it's impossible for Americans to fast with all of the messages coming at you about food. So let me, let me speak about that a little bit. First of all, I was, I told you in the beginning when, when I did my prep day video, I do not have a television and I don't believe, I just, there's a reason for that. It's because of all the marketing messages that you get about food. However, if you have a television and you're fasting, the commercials are a little intense. The fact that every other commercial is a food commercial can be a problem. Does that mean that you don't have the willpower to be able to look away from the television? or have the willpower to say, okay, I understand, I see this food, but that doesn't mean that I have to give in to it. She was basically saying that as an American, you have no willpower. The marketing companies who want you to believe that food is everything are gonna win, so just go ahead and give in to it. What kind of ridiculous nonsense is that? It's stupid for her to say as a registered dietitian. We have no willpower as Americans, so you can't fast. You know, I'm completely moving past her second point as fasting is a fatty diet because I covered that already. It's just, she's just, I don't want to call somebody stupid, but anyway, 
The third point about the fact that you will eat again, of course you'll eat again. Does that mean that you're going to gain all the weight back? Didn't I talk about this in a couple other videos? Yeah, you're going to gain the weight of your food back. Yeah, but after you fast, the point is to transition into a more healthy lifestyle where you're eating something that's not going to be processed or, you know, it's not going to be fatty or sugary or caffeine laden. It, you know, it, the point is to make better decisions about the food that you eat afterwards. At least that's my point when it comes to fasting. If you're going to fast for weight loss, then that's what you should absolutely do. If you're fasting for whatever other reason, be it, be it spiritual or weight loss or what have you, yeah, you're going to gain some of the weight back. Does that mean that you have to gain all of the weight back? If you're fasting for weight loss like I am and you're fasting to break some addictions and some habits, because I, I got some addictions that I'm fighting, I have to look every day at those addictions and make the, make the proper choices. I mean, I was stunned. And what she was saying, she's a registered dietitian. That is crap, absolute crap what she said. Yes, as an American, we can, as Americans, we can fast. You do have willpower, you do. Fasting is not fatty, and yes, you'll gain some weight back, but you make some right choices when it comes to your food. And another point is that the, the point of the movie Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead was that Joe Cross and Phil Staples went on a juice fast to cure themselves of disease. It wasn't just to lose weight. I mean, they cured themselves of chronic urticaria, which is a, uh, an autoimmune disease. In the time that they were fasting, people have cured themselves from diabetes, they've cured themselves from all kinds of diseases through the proper use of fasting. That was the point of the movie. She's just foolish. I'm, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go, because I'm done ranting. Uh, I mean, and the, the funny thing is, is that at the end of her blog, she said, well, what, do you agree with me? Don't you agree with me? Leave your comments below. So I left a comment. I was kind. I was kind. And I wasn't even gonna video about this until she deleted my comment. So she didn't really want somebody to disagree with her. She wanted somebody to agree with her that the movie was unrealistic. When I disagreed with her and she deleted my comment, see, now I gotta go with you with all guns blazing because you're foolish. So that's, that's all I have to say. <laughs> that's all I have to say today. I'm done yelling. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow.